Hey everyone, first things first, I'll try to put as much description as I can on each of these TVs in the videos, if not in the description below. I'm not an expert at all on CRTs or anything like that. I just collect for them and I have a high appreciation for them. I'm just sharing my experiences in acquiring them and the stories I went through to get some of these TVs. One of the reasons why this video took so long to make is because I keep acquiring new TVs to add to the collection. Um, more on the Trinitron side than the actual unique style TVs. I finished that collection a little while ago, but I do plan on making an update for some of the TVs in those. So I'm starting off with other CRTs I have. Mixed brands, a bunch of random ones. A couple of them might stand out. But I kind of threw all these together just because technically they count as a CRT. So these first two CRTs are really tiny, but technically they count as a CRT. So LGR did a video on it, and I'll link it down in the description. But here's the two CRTs I have in that style. So here's the first camcorder and the second. I believe their screen size is about inch, maybe less than an inch but I'm not even sure on the weight either. I'd say about a gram each, but technically they still count as a CRT, so I'm putting them in this video. One more little side note is that all these TVs will have a coaxial input on it, unless otherwise noted, and I really don't feel like pointing out every TV that has one. I had to carry and lift every single TV, and so I figured since I'm doing that, I might as well weigh them. And to get the weight, I would pick up the TV, stand on the scale, subtract my weight, and then I'd have the final weight of the TV. And I was able to do this for every single TV except for the 36-inch Trinitron, which is so f heavy, the scale just said error when I stood on it. So we have two 25-inch screens. On the right is a Zenith that weighs 67 pounds. And on the left is a unbranded one that weighs 60 pounds. I could not find anywhere on that TV a label of any kind of brand. On the left, though, it does have a composite input in the front. And on the right, the Zenith on the back has a composite with S-Video in and uh, audio out. Up next is the Symphonic TVs. On the left, I have a 20-inch True Flat. That weighs 43 pounds. It has composite in the front. And on the right, I have a 13 inch. That weighs 23 pounds. And it has a composite VCR and headphone jack on the front. Here we have two RCA TVs. On the left is a 28 inch that weighs 72 pounds. It has two composite inputs and a S video with audio out on the back. And on the right is a 20 inch RCA TV that weighs 40 pounds and it has composite on the front. This is a General Electric. It's a 28 inch and it weighs 70 pounds. This is a Sharp TV, 25 inch screen, weighs 61 pounds and has composite inputs on the front. This is the second Sharp TV. It's a 32 inch screen. It weighs 106 pounds. On the front it has a composite input. And on the back inputs, there's composite, component, S-video, and there's also audio out. I have another true flat here. It's made by Panasonic. It's a 27-inch screen, and it weighs 99 pounds. It has a composite input on the front. And on the back, I'm just going to show a picture of it because it has something I haven't seen before. It's got your component, your composite, and S-video input. But on the far right, there's a PROG out, like a I assume maybe it was program out. I'm not sure if maybe that would go to like a VCR you could record or something. I don't know. That doesn't even make sense, but uh, maybe someone can let me know in the comments down below. This is a JVC D series, 32 inch screen, and it weighs 109 pounds. I know there's a lot of JVC fans out there, and this one is fairly nice. It's got composite on the front. And on the back, it has composite with S-Video. It also has component and audio out. All right, here's an Orion TV. It's got a 9-inch screen, and it weighs 16 pounds. It's a portable TV. On the front, it has a built-in DVD player and composite inputs. 
and on the back it has composite output with digital audio out. I think having a screen this small would make for an interesting round in GoldenEye multiplayer. This Bentley TV weighs 7 pounds and has a black and white 5 inch display and it's RF only. So while editing this video, I realized I forgot the Curtis Mathis TV and a few others, but I've since donated and given them away, so it doesn't really matter. So anyways, on with the multi-region CRT. Up next is my multi-system TV. It does PAL, CCAM, and NTSC. I mainly use this for PAL, or one of the TVs I mainly use for PAL. It's got two inputs on the back. I believe it's just mono sound though, which is kind of disappointing because there's two speakers on the front. But this has a video in and out and what I believe is a European co coaxial input. Show you, it's a little different than over here in the States. It has a little hole in the middle and it looks kind of just like a plug that would, it's just different. It's not like you screw it in. And it has an input in the front, and it's got a electrical type C plug, I believe. It's what they use in Europe. Uh, I could have just gotten a standard adapter, I believe, but I ended up getting this transformer just in case because I was afraid I was going to blow the TV since I had it imported. So I use this. Up next we have the Trinitrons. I'm going through the two big ones first. Here we have the KD34XBR970, it's a full HD Trinitron, weighs about 200 pounds and it has a 32 inch flat screen. On the front of the TV there is a composite and S video input along with the menu buttons. On the back there's two composite with S video inputs, there's two component, an HDMI with audio in and out and then there's a digital audio out and a USB service port. The crazy thing about this is I was actually able to fit this CRT into my small 2009 Toyota Corolla. Next I have the KV36HS510 HD Trinitron weighs 230 pounds, has a 36 inch flat screen, and this is the only TV that will not fit into my car. On the front there's a memory stick slot for viewing pictures saved on one of your memory sticks. There's composite with S video and the menu buttons. This TV also has my favorite remote and it has a twin view setting so you can view two inputs at once. Although the downside is you only get audio from one of the inputs. On the back we have three composite, two of them have S video and there's also video out, there's audio out and there's two component, uh, there's a control in and out. I think that's for other Sony devices that would go with the TV. And then up at the top there's a DVI port with uh, audio in. This is my BVM 8021. It's an 8-inch screen, weighs about 20 pounds. It came with a nice little carrying case for cords and the TV. It has like a little sun blocker, I guess. I don't know if they were using this out in the field and they didn't want glare on the screen or something. I don't really use it in the case. In fact, I don't really use it at all. But it does have a nice picture. Uh, on the back, there's like your BNC connectors and uh, two little spots to put batteries. But I just plug it in. And on the front, it has all the different adjustments you can make using the dials and the power button. This is the PVM 14N5U. It has a 14 inch screen and it weighs 34 pounds. It uses BNC connectors and has two inputs. Its audio is only mono though, but it has a nice display. This is the KV19TS20. It weighs 48 pounds and has a 19 inch screen. On the back it has composite inputs with audio out.
I have two KV27S42s here. The one is RGB modded. They both weigh 90 pounds and have a 27 inch screen. On the back they have composite and S-video and audio out. On the RGB modded TV it uses BNC connectors and the sync goes through the S-video. There is a small switch on this TV which switches between RGB and the composite input. And there's the G-SCART switch I use. Next is the KV32FS12. It has a 32 inch screen, weighs 166 pounds, has S-Video, component, and composite with audio out. And on the front of the TV under the flap there is composite inputs with menu buttons. Here I have the KV24FS100. It has a 24 inch screen, weighs 76 pounds. It has composite, S-Video, and component on the back. And on the front there is composite with a headphone jack. Now I have two KV27FS120s. They weigh 104 pounds and they have a 27 inch screen. On the front there is composite input and on the back there is composite, a composite with S video, component, and audio out. And here I have two of the KV27FS13. They weigh 105 pounds, have a 27 inch screen. On the front they have composite, and on the back they have composite, composite, S-video, and component with audio out. And now I have another two of the KD27FS170. They weigh 100 pounds, have a 27 inch screen. On the front there is composite, and on the back there is composite, S-video, and component. This is a KV32FS200 has a 32 inch screen and weighs about 180 pounds has composite on the front and on the back there's composite the composite with S video component and audio out here I have a KV27 FV17 weighs 112 pounds has a 27 inch screen on the front there is S video and composite And on the back, there's composite with S video, composite, component, and then there's composite video and audio out. Here I have a KV13 FM12, weighs 27 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. On the front, on the right side, underneath a little flap, there's a composite input and a headphone jack. And on the back, there's a, another composite input. This is a KV9PT50, weighs about 12 pounds and has a 9 inch screen. On the front there is a headphone jack. And there is composite on the back. Now when I got this TV from the guy I bought it from, he had the stand mounted on the top. So I'm not sure if he had it hanging from a ceiling or something. But I don't really use this TV so I haven't really taken the time to put the stand on the bottom. Okay, now on to the monitors. Up first is the Sony Trinitron HMD V200. Weighs 48 pounds and has a 16 inch screen. The inputs for this monitor are a VGA connection and it also has a auxiliary cord for audio. And on the left side there is a headphone jack. Here I have a little Dell monitor. It's 16 inch screen, weighs 32 pounds, and has a VGA input. Okay, here is my main monitor I use. It's a Tanberg DM6952KF. I have no idea what it really is. I've never heard of this brand. I couldn't really find anything online, and 
I have no info for it other than it's a 32 inch screen and weighs 154 pounds. Another strange thing about this monitor is the display resolution. In order for me to get it to work on my PC, I have to have it at 1024 by 768. I don't think this camera does it justice. Its black levels are really good. But I really like this monitor. It just looks really great. I feel like I found a hidden gem. All right, for the last monitor, I have the best monitor and the fastest because it has flames. This is my Hot Wheels CRT monitor. It has a 15 inch screen and weighs 27 pounds. It uses a VGA cable and has a power cord. I do plan on making a video on this sometime, but I need to get a power supply for the Hot Wheels PC. That's the one thing that died on it, and I think that's pretty common with these, but I finally finished the complete set. I got the steering wheel with box, a lot of things in box, so I'm pretty happy about that, but once I get it up and running, maybe I'll make a video on it. Okay, so now we get into the fun CRTs. I got my first one on February 5th, 2018, and I got my most recent one on February 3rd, 2021. And it's been a journey collecting these TVs, but it's been so worth it. But I'll get more into the stories on collecting them and the journeys of getting them at the end of the video. So right now, I'll just start off with the first one I picked up. This is the Disney Princess CRT has a 20 inch screen and weighs 39 pounds. I got the CD player jewelry case thing uh, actually a while after when I got the Barbie TV, but it goes with this TV, so I'm putting it. One of the neat features this TV has is the princess in the top right corner next to the channel. Uh, some of these TVs have different images like that and it also has the Little Mermaid swimming across and back when you change the volume. Here is the Barbie CRT. Weighs 20 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. I also got the DVD player to the left of it. This is the Strawberry Shortcake CRT, weighs 20 pounds and also has a 13 inch screen. When you change the volume, you can see Strawberry Shortcake bouncing across strawberries. And she also has her own little symbol when you change the channel. There's also a little display screen when it has no input. This is the Hello Kitty CRT. It weighs 20 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. And it also has its own little channel display. And when you change the volume up and down, the little kitty will walk back and forth. Here is the Dora the Explorer TV. Weighs 20 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. And it also has a little screen saver display as it waits for an input. There's also a little starfish when you change the channel. And when you change the volume, Dora moves right and left. Here is my Bratz CRT. It has a 13 inch screen and weighs 25 pounds. 
Really only the unique thing with this CRT is the power button has a little light. This is the Hannah Montana CRT. It has a 13 inch screen and weighs 20 pounds. Unfortunately, I do not have the top for the CRT. It has like a little guitar, I think, and it says Hannah Montana, but unfortunately I don't have that. So here's a picture of what it would look like. This is my Tinkerbell CRT. Weighs about 20 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. And luckily this one, I was able to get the topper and the manual with it. This is my Superman TV, or Supergirl, I guess you could call it. It has a 13 inch screen, weighs about 25 pounds, and has a built-in DVD player. This TV has a little title screen when you first power it on. It says Supergirl. So now I'll go to the DVD menu on the TV. And behind this S, you just push it, it opens, and then that's where the DVD tray is. This is my Spider-Man CRT. It has a built-in DVD player as well in the front. It has a 13-inch screen and weighs 25 pounds. And this is what the built-in DVD menu looks like on the TV. This is my Batman CRT. It weighs 28 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. I was fortunate enough to find this one with the original box. This is my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles CRT. It has a 13 inch screen and weighs 20 pounds. This is my Mickey Mouse CRT. It has a 13 inch screen and weighs 21 pounds. One unique thing about this TV is the speakers are the black ears on top of the TV. And as you change the volume, you can see Donald Duck walking across the screen. Also, when you change the channel, there's a little Mickey Mouse in the top right corner with the channel number. This is my Cars CRT. Weighs 25 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. On the front, underneath the flap, there's the power button and along with the channel, menu, and volume buttons. This is my Winnie the Pooh CRT. Weighs 25 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. With this, I also got the DVD player and manuals and remotes with it. The one manual is just for the DVD player, the other manual is for the TV. And as for the remotes, the one's for the TV, one is for the DVD player, and the third one is actually a children's remote. 
The sound comes from the speakers that are on the side of Winnie the Pooh's head on top of the TV. Also, when you change the channel, you can see Winnie the Pooh over the channel number. And when you change the volume up and down, you can see Tigger bouncing right and left. Also, on the DVD menu, there's a home screen where various characters from the show appear and disappear. Here is my Pirates of the Caribbean CRT. has a 13-inch screen and weighs about 20 pounds. Another little odd thing about this is the skull with the swords on top of the TV. The little jaw can move just slightly. This is the SpongeBob SquarePants CRT. It weighs 20 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. Here are my two clear CRTs. On the left is a KTV CRT. Has a 12 inch screen and weighs 12 and a half pounds. On the right, I have a Zenith clear CRT. It weighs 20 pounds and has a 13 inch screen. The Zenith on the right has a Hiking and Beer logo on it. And this one came from a bar in Pittsburgh. The prison CRT on the left, I believe came from a prison somewhere in Illinois possibly Chicago, but I'm not too sure. Um, the numbers engraved on it are 221221. It has it on the top, and on the back it has it again with a date September 15th, 2006, and a serial number 60610116. I don't have too much information on this one, unfortunately. It'd be neat to know where it was and all that, but... Yeah, at least I have a cute little TV for my collection. The only downside to the prison CRT is that it reeks of cigarettes. All right, quickly, just because I just received this one, I'm going to add it in quick. This is the Harrier Frog TV. It weighs 20 pounds and has a 13-inch screen. It just came in the mail. Unfortunately, even though it was packaged pretty well, it still managed to have a crack and this piece came out. I think I can super glue it, but I mean, honestly, this TV was packaged the best out of all the TVs I've had shipped, and this was the only one with damage, so go figure. Um, on the top has a little remote, and I believe there's like a little frog display on it when it turns on. There he is. I was having trouble getting my camera to focus on the frog, so I just took some pictures, and here are his two forms as he bounces around the screen. Last little interesting thing, when you change the volume, you see a little frog guy eating the dots and vomiting them back up. And last, but definitely not least, Weighing in at 23 pounds and has a 13 inch screen, this is my holy grail, my Shrek CRT. I pray to Shrek every night before bed, thanking him for the life I've been given. Shrek is love, I say. Shrek is life. One other thing I like about the Shrek CRT is it has a little display of, like, Shrek's head when you power it on, as it waits for an input. Now once I finish my Shrek CRT collection, I will make an updated video featuring the DVD player and all the other things that go along with it. 
So hopefully this pandemic ends so I can go and finish gathering all of my Shrek collection stuff. So that's all the CRTs I'm putting in this video. It's pretty much all of them. I have since given some away throughout the making of this video because this video took way too long to make just because I didn't really feel like making it. But it's done. I'm glad it's done. So there was a total of 60 CRTs I put in this video. I mean, sure, it's a lot, I guess, but there's people out there with a whole lot more. I think I just have the biggest unique collection, uh, which is mainly what I care about. The total inches of screen was 1,125 inches or 93 feet, 9 inches, I think. And the total weight of all my CRTs ended up being 3,426 pounds. Now, before you go down in the comments and say I'm missing one, I realize that. There's a lot of different variations of the same theme TV. So, for example, cars, I could have gotten a larger one or one with a built-in DVD player. A lot of the Disney CRTs have many variations of the same theme. So I didn't really care to get every variation. My collection, I just kind of wanted one of each theme. Same with the Supergirl and Superman TV. I kind of just threw them together. I didn't really care to get both. I also didn't include console CRTs, so like the Dreamcast, the NES, the Sharp NES TV, and the Super Famicom, I didn't include in my collection. Um, I probably won't get one. They're hard to find and they're pretty expensive. Now the Darth Vader seems to be only a European thing. I've never seen one over here in the States. I've made offers on them, but most of the sellers, they didn't want to ship. So I don't think I'll ever come across one of those. And the Simpsons CRT seems to be only native to Australia. Like three or four I've seen, they've only been in Australia. So I don't think I'll be getting one of those. But aside from those, I didn't really care to go out of my way and get every single variation because that would just take forever. There's also karaoke machines. Uh, I think there was like a Disney's Frozen it had a little five inch screen and I just don't care to go down that rabbit hole. I don't really care for karaoke machine CRTs because you can't really use them. So the story behind the Shrek CRT was I was looking for one for a long time, Google searching everywhere. Finally one popped up on the Virage sale app and it was all the way up in Keswick, Ontario. So I of course tried to join that area's group so I could message the seller. But the admin wouldn't let me because she thought, you know, you don't live in Keswick. You're not even in the country. She probably maybe thought I was a scammer or something. I don't know. I didn't really blame her because it makes total sense. So what I did was I made a fake profile, some old guy, you know, and she approved him because I put my location as Keswick. So I was in, I messaged the seller. He wanted 30 Canadian dollars. So I contacted him. I was like, hey. I'm interested in the TV, you know, can I have my son come pick it up? Because he would have been like, oh, you're not that old guy, whatever. I felt bad lying to him, but, you know, it's the holy grail. I was desperate. I just had to go get it. So uh, I told him, I was like, Saturday, can I come pick it up? He said, sure. So I was a little nervous, but so I drive all the way up to Canada. I pull up to the border. They're like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm here to buy a TV. They asked how much. I told them, and they're like, okay, that's a little odd. But she let me through, so that was the main hurdle I was a little worried about. Now, this was all pre-pandemic. It was November of 2019, so there was no real issues with that. So I go up, I meet the old guy, hand him his 30 Canadian dollars, and um, it didn't have the remote, but you know, he was a nice old guy happy to sell it. Unfortunately, it looked like it was, came from a smoking home, but I was able to clean all the smells and stuff up. So I'm on my way back from Canada. I get to the U.S. border. They're like, what, what are you doing? Like, what would you go to Canada for? I told him to pick up a TV, and the guy was like, what the heck? He's like, why would you go all the way up there for a TV? I was like, well, it's the Shrek CRT, and he's like, no way. He's like, I got to see it. So I had it in my passenger seat all wrapped up, seat belted in, you know, wanted to take care of it. So I had to undo it and he was like, no way, that's really awesome. So he thought it was neat, but a little strange. So I make it all the way home. It was a trip, a little over a thousand mile drive. So it wasn't anything too crazy, but it was definitely worth it. And then my wife ended up throwing me a Shrek 
theme birthday party because she's like if you're crazy enough to drive to another country and all that far for a freaking shrek tv she thought i must love shrek so she threw me a shrek themed birthday party and uh my one friend jeff got me two theme crts he got me the cars and the disney mickey mouse I guess he asked my wife if it would be okay because he knows that she was like, stop bringing TVs home. So I guess she gave him the okay. It was like, yeah, he'll enjoy those. So that was cool. So at my birthday, I opened up two TVs and I was like, oh, well now I might as well, you know, try to collect these things. And I w was looking around. When I started, I only thought there was like 10 or 11 of the theme TVs. So I was like, oh, well, I got the hard one, the Shrek out of the way, like... I could easily do it. So I kept gathering. I got to like 10 or 11 and then I'd find another one. Now this kept happening the whole freaking time. And I ended up just being like narrowing it down. So which is why I have such a short collection of like, it's got to be US only. I'm not doing the Euro, all the console variations, all that stuff. I was like, you know, this is for me. So I kind of just did what I wanted with it. So every time I'd find one, someone else would pop up and be like, oh, there's this one. And it kept getting so annoying. And I ended up putting my collection on Reddit. And then someone's like, oh, you don't have the Hannah Montana. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So like it just kept on going and going. But it was a lot of fun searching and gathering these TVs, the road trips. It was just fun. I know it's kind of odd and a lot of people think it's like a waste of money, but I think um, I didn't overspend on a lot of them. Some of them I just had to drop the money on eBay um, to get certain ones because I, I didn't want to have to drive too far. Um, I know I took the risk with having them ship. I got extremely lucky because some of these TVs, like they just put in a box with nothing, like no cushioning, nothing. And they showed up to my door perfectly fine. I was like, no freaking way. I was surprised none of them came broken, but if they did, I would have been like, eh, whatever, as long as it looks appealing, it can sit on the shelf and be part of the collection. But surprisingly, they all came perfectly fine, except for the one, the frog one, which was packaged really nicely, came with a chip in it. So overall, I got lucky with that. I didn't really want to do eBay, but some of them I just had to. We went on a road trip. Uh, my friend Phil, he drove me around, and we went up to like, New York, then to Connecticut, then all the way out to Pittsburgh. It was like an all-day trip just to get a couple CRTs. So, I mean, the trip's the journey. It was a lot of fun, you know, stopping at places to get food, things like that, just hanging out. So, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to collect anymore. I'm kind of done. I have been getting rid of some of the CRTs. I've donated and given some of them away. I know my wife's going crazy. She's like, you we don't have room for it and I understand that but if there's any tips or tricks you need on how to uh, sneak in CRTs without the wife noticing I have a couple but you know she's been pretty good that way with letting me do this stupid collection so all I really enjoyed going out and gathering them if you have any questions you can ask them below maybe I'll do a specified video on one of the unique models if you really want I'm gonna do that with the Shrek one definitely so if there's anything I forgot, I'll put it down in the description below. Uh, the LGR video with the CRT camcorder. Uh, he did a neat video on that. I'm going to link that below. For making it to the end of the video, I'd like to thank Phil and Adon and a couple other friends. Uh, Marcelo, who helped me with my CRT finding, carrying, doing road trips, things like that. Most of all, I'd like to thank my wife uh, for letting me gather all these TVs and putting up with me. So just surpassed 2,000 subscribers, so thank you for that, I guess. I, I never thought I would have more subscribers than I do CRTs. Um, thanks again. Questions, you can let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer them, and I do plan on making a few more videos with the CRTs.